Hey everybody, it's VDiz the Rockstar, part of Super Obvious. In this video, we're doing a quick recap of the May 12th episode of AEW Dynamite. Like and share the video, comment below on how you felt about the show, and subscribe to the channel for more content. Let's go. The episode starts with Jon Moxley defending his IWGP United States Championship against Yuji Nagata, which he has had since January of last year. I've never seen Nagata wrestle before, but I can feel his legendary status. This match was okay, to me there weren't any spots that were super exciting and we pretty much figured Moxley was going to win and keep his championship. We have the AEW Tag Team Championships next with the champs the Young Bucks vs Frankie Kazari and Chris Daniels. The challengers put a lot of pressure on themselves because they announced that if they lost this title defense they would split up as a tag team and they are 2 out of 3 members of the SCU which is one of the most popular teams in the company. About halfway into the match, Chris gets super kicked into the ring post on the outside and remember, the AEW ring posts are square and not circle so it's more dangerous. Didn't even look like he really super kicked Chris into the post but not long after, Chris is super duper bleeding on the outside and we don't see Chris in the match for several minutes so Frankie is pretty much in a handicap match against the Bucks. Eventually, Chris gets back in there and there is blood all over the ring, all over the other wrestlers, and even on Matt's shoes. Oh, also, Don's commentary is freaking gold. He is such an asshole, he is very funny, and he is my favorite manager in AEW. The climax of the match is when Mike Nakazawa gives Matt this bottle and he sprays it all over Chris's face who is already super busted open. The Bucks do their BTE trigger finisher to pin Chris and win the match, and Frankie sells his reaction on how they lost and the group is finished. In case you don't know, the BTE trigger Got that one set up! BTE trigger! Most of the time, it looks brutal and is believable to be a finisher. We have Mox and Kingston trashing the Bucks locker room. After that, we have a package video with Jim Ross interviewing Britt Baker about her title match against Kushida at the Double or Nothing pay-per-view. We also have a number one contenders match with Orange Cassidy vs Pac and the winner gets to go against Kenny Omega at the pay per view. It's a pretty good match. The finish of the match is when Cassidy is down on the mat, Don is distracting Aubrey the referee while Kenny hits Pac in the face with a belt ending in a double countout. Kenny and Don are celebrating that since nobody won, Kenny doesn't have an opponent for the pay per view so they are going to chill and take the night off. Tony Schiavone gives the bad news that the owner Tony Khan says that Kenny will be defending his title at the pay per view in a triple threat against Pac and Orange Cassidy. We have Thunder Rosa beating a jobber's ass in like maybe a minute. After that we're talking about the pinnacle. They come out to the ring super celebrating their victory over the inner circle at the blood and guts cage match which takes like super forever. MJF denies the inner circle issuing a rematch earlier. The inner circle comes out in this truck and sprays everybody with a bunch of the little bit of the bubbly champagne. Feeling embarrassed and frustrated, MJF says they accept the rematch challenge and it will be in another stadium stampede match and if the inner circle loses they have to break up forever. You would think that the inner circle would have to win this but we'll see. We have Darby Allen vs Miro for the AEW TNT Championship next. Miro is in the ring and when Darby gets into the ring. He does a pre-match beatdown and kicks Darby's ass for at least 5 minutes before the bell rings and the match starts. If you're a long time big wrestling fan, this is usually a bad sign that the champion is going to lose the belt and Miro is literally at least twice the size of Darby. The fans are very supportive and vocally expressive behind Darby so it added to the emotion of the match. There are a few points where Darby is holding his own and making a comeback from getting beat up so much but for the most part. Miro just beats the shit out of Darby and puts him in the modified Accolade move now called Game Over. Darby taps out and Miro is the new AEW TNT Champion. Miro basically jumped in before the match. Miro is way bigger and Darby had heart but he really really didn't have a chance. He was pretty much a super underdog in this match even though he was a champion. Even with all that said, Darby losing the belt shocked me. But yeah guys that's the video. Let me know in the comments how you feel about Miro winning the TNT Championship how you felt about this episode of Dynamite, and how do you think the Double or Nothing pay-per-view is going to be. Like and share the video, and super kick that subscribe button for more content, and I will see you guys in the next one. Totally for sure.